So how do I do UX if a brief I have been given tells me the solution before there's any research? Do I just supply the client with what he or she asked or combat the brief with evidence to suggest it's not even a good idea? This is a really good question. So let's jump right into it. It's actually a super important question because I'm going to tell you from my experience in the past, a lot of your interviews for the jobs are going to include a form of this question because an interviewer, a hiring manager is going to want to know how did you manage a difficult conversation? How did you dealt with, let's say, a business representative coming to you, a stakeholder or, so, or a client and saying, I want an app design it for me. I don't care about user research. That's where your motivation could come from just, you know, getting better jobs or getting better opportunities, which are more user centric. Now, as per usual, this is one of those more difficult subjects in UX because it has to do with a change management. It covers your process, your thinking, your negotiation skills, your stakeholder management, your influence generally to actually drive user centricity. So they rely on you to show what good looks like or to push back gracefully and you know manage those expectations. Now, a good way to approach this and a simple almost like a mental framework, a model you could follow is to always start with the why. Chances are a stakeholder is gonna come to you and say, hey, I just want this app because we have some evidence, we have some hunch, maybe it's a gut feel, maybe they just saw a competitor who does that already and they thought, oh, this maybe would work for us. So you need to extract and understand exactly where is that coming from? Ask them why. Why exactly now is the right time to do that? What evidence do they have? Where is that information? Can they share it with you? Just like in UX process, here you're trying to understand the user needs and your user is that stakeholder who thinks that the real solution and the solution we want is the app. It doesn't mean that that solution is what we need. And that's what you are trying to now map and understand. Again, don't push back immediately. Even if you know that the app is not going to solve all those bits maybe from your previous research or just you know generally feeling that hey UI might not be the right solution here maybe it's one of many take that information in try to unpack it and understand it majority cases of the time you know you're not gonna be able to change the minds outright you're still gonna need to proceed and evidence every step of the way that this might be a good idea or might not be a good idea. So you need to follow through, but gracefully you can guide them and say, we need to observe or capture that type of evidence, or this is a blind spot in behaviors, let's say. Therefore, we need to run with these specific user research methods. Taking them on a journey, let's say, this is why I hammer this point on mapping experiences so that you can actually walk people through and tell them that, hey, maybe Maybe the app would fit here, but you need to consider how do you engage with them? How do you ensure the adoption of a solution? How does the user even know about new app or how do we actually get hooked in it? And a lot of designers might just default into the solution. That's definitely not the right way to do that because you always need to question things. You always need to draw some sort of insights and map them out and then make the conclusions together with the teammates, you know, ideating and prototyping the solutions and then testing and understanding if that works or doesn't, or what direction should you pivot or update, uh, let's say, the features. In the end, this is a simple approach of shifting your mindset and your actions from outputs towards outcomes. So that's what I would do if a client would, let's say, come to me. It doesn't matter what seniority you are. Be curious. Don't be judgmental. Don't push back. Maybe they don't know any better, but that's why you are there, because they certainly need that UX help. That's why you as a UX designer joined them draw it out and then work from there and guide them with different activities, facilitation skills, workshops, then proper user research to understand exactly how do you connect that business hunch with the actual user needs, because it could be that it's more than the app. That app could look very different than what we thought it would be. Maybe that app is going to be part of a bigger campaign with some sort of email, newsletters, or some sort of marketing campaign or content which you can inform for the research and understanding what the users need. You know, there's a lot of ways to skin this cat. And ultimately, as a hiring manager, I also want to add to this, is that UX is about process. Naturally, you're going to end up again with some sort of user experience in the end. If it's going to be good or bad, it's up to you and your team to come up with appropriate means. But you must 
include enough research. You must, again, understand enough about your users, about your customer base. You need to draw some sort of evidence on those lines so that you're you know, confident enough that that solution, that experiment actually going to lead to some sort of business outcomes. If you're much more experienced, let's say if you're senior or beyond, you need to start working on how you draw the measures, the KPIs from a business perspective. How do you use that to map into the hypotheses? How do you use hypotheses to map into your research plan and the activities? It all starts with that North Star, that one thing what business wants to achieve. And then you can draw out and see, okay, does that app actually make sense? Or is it just a really vague hypothesis which someone had or a really wild idea? Bring the evidence, bring them on the journey. And then and only then you can convince and change the minds. And again, try it out. Make sure to actually practice these things because it's not going to just, you know, click or immediately work. But as you start practicing, you're going to understand what works in certain scenarios with certain people. You can, it's human aspects which you're going to be most challenging. You're going to need to push and pull all the time and then figure out what works. If you like this video, smash that like button. And on that note, I'll see you next time. Boom.